Craig, it's a remarkable story, and in many ways, this is a gentleman that's created a job that's made it somewhat hard to replace him. He's the CEO of Renault, the chairman of Nissan, the chairman of Mitsubishi, and then the leader of the whole alliance. Who speaks to the, for the alliance now, now that Carlos Ghosn's been arrested? Well, that's an open question. There was no sort of clear number two for this alliance that, that really made sense. And, and really, Ghosn was sort of positioning himself as somebody who was going to step back from the day-to-day -day running of, of the individual companies and really speak for and focus on the, the long-term future of this alliance. And so really, th there's a huge void in leadership of that sort of organization, the overall sort of umbrella organization un overseeing these two companies. And obviously, just a huge void in terms of, of leadership. You do have a situation where the, we have a CEO of Nissan who had some very harsh words for Ghosn uh, during a long uh, press conference uh, in Yokohama. Uh, you have a, a, a COO of Renault, uh, Ther Thierry Bellore, who uh, is, is maybe a clear sort of heir apparent to lead the company as a, a new CEO, presuming, of course, that Ghosn is on the way out here. Uh, but uh, who's going to uh, sort of speak for this alliance structure is really an open question, and that's why you have uh, sort of the, these comments of, of complete and utter confusion, uh, talking about the idea of will these companies uh, split up. Uh, you know, weeks and months ago, we were talking about whether or not there was going to be a merger between these two. So this completely uh, scrambles everything and, and makes uh, the story quite a bit of a mess. Uh, and, and that mer merger was something that uh, the market seemed to want. Every time you saw more talk of these companies really combining, you would see a, a rally in the shares. And, yeah. and, and so this is a, a major negative setback for both these companies. So, Craig, just a final question for you. What is more material? From the people that you've been speaking to, what's the more material risk? The operational risk, because we don't have leadership right now, or the potential for an escalation around the misuse of funds? the understating of reporting. Who's more culpable on that side, the individual or the company? The, the company has said that they're going to form a committee to add two new independent directors to the board. They're going to look uh, in, in Nissan's board, I'm, I'm speaking of specifically here. Renault's going to have a meeting, they say, as soon as possible. Uh, but absolutely, what, what uh, Nissan's CEO was trying to do here was really put pin the blame for this on Ghosn and on uh, a, a second person within the, the company uh, who he said really uh, reported to Gone and only Gone. So uh, th there's, there seems to be an effort on the part of Nissan very yeah. much to sort of uh, narrow in the, the blame and, and the problem here on, on two people within the company uh, at the same time get to the bottom of it through this committee that they're setting up.